I started messing around with the camera just a little bit, um, but I really was just wearing it to see if anybody would notice. We took turns wearing it all over New York City, and it was like being a movie star. The first thing I say is, yeah, do you want to try it on? This becomes a vehicle to engage with people who are interested in it. It's hands-free. It's kind of an excellent thing to have when you're elbows deep into a 3D printer. You can point with your face while you're working with your hands. As an artist, that's revolutionary. <laughs> Put it on for the first time and not have my vision blocked and just see that it was crystal clear and found myself naturally you know, taking more photographs than more video with glass just because it's on my face. I made a small video of applications. One of them was to give CPR. I created CPR glass to give an example to the people and to the doctors about the potential of glass. We actually convinced our rabbi to wear it during the uh, exchanging of rings and our bows. Okay, just want to make sure we capture this. <laughs> As a teacher, I've been fascinated with incorporating technology. I love it. I see my students love it. Celebrities will put them on at events and stuff, and they'll be like, wow, that's so cool. Can I put those on? Yeah, absolutely you can. I'm in the future. <laughs> Google's blown open a space in terms of having wearable technology within your line of sight. Google was smart. They kind of set the bar and said, try and catch up to us, everybody else.